I'm having a lot of difficulty knowing how to wear this on camera. Could you guys give your girl a hand and let me know, does it look better as a turtleneck? I feel like this is not a vibe. Collar up, it's kind of classy. Boss woman vibe, no, yes? Or collar down, because I feel like we need to know how to wear this on camera. So I've got some insane allergies. So if I'm looking a little tired or sounding congested, that's why. Cause like all of my sinuses are just feeling a lot of pressure, you know? Anyway, today I thought we would do something a bit fun. I thought we could build my childhood home in The Sims. Now I know what you're thinking, Deli. You've already done this video like four years ago. I did build my first childhood home that I grew up in. But when my parents separated, we moved into another house from when I was maybe 12 or 13 years old until I started my YouTube channel. So it's quite different. I've just turned my sim into a teenager who doesn't love a little creator sim. Well, actually a lot of people don't, but I do. I had like no butt when I was a teenager and I was quite thin because I didn't know I was lactose intolerant and I'd poop everything out. I had acne and I was actually a bit more tanned because I spent a lot of time in the sun. But yeah, that was basically me. Oh, and active wear wasn't really a thing back then. So we wore skinny leg jeans, not with sneakers because sneakers weren't cool. Like jeans and sneakers were called junners and it was really not a look back then. I actually went through a stage where I wore clogs I feel like this is kind of the look I had. Let's go into Brindleton Bay and build here. Brindleton Bay in a way was kind of like where I grew up. It was suburban near the beach. And I lived here with my mom and sister. There was a driveway that kind of went up uh, from what was a dirt road at the time. Terrain is also really hard to like even out. I find the best way is just to look from the side to see how it's going and just to use this like leveling tool to make sure it's on track with gradually going upwards, you know what I mean? I and mean, that's okay. Our driveway was pretty much like this anyway, like a little, little topsy turny. There was a garage here. Was it? I think it was actually a two car garage. I would love to have cars in The Sims. Like I would be really happy if they were exactly the same as The Sims 2 cars. So you just kind of drive in, drive out and that's it. I don't have to, it doesn't have to be like The Sims 3 for me. Technically the rest of the house was on a foundation, but the walls did join up with the garage. I think to make it translate to the game, I'll just leave a gap between the garage and the house. But really this would have shared a wall right here. Um, we'll, we'll figure that out in the end. <laughs> and I think there was a blue front door with windows on either side. Let's just go with this. And it was actually such a nice floor plan, this home, come to think of it. I didn't really realize at the time how nice it was, um, but it was like a real open, nice airy floor plan. I think this went out a little bit. Yeah, I think it kind of went like this. And then there was this dividing wall area where there was a pantry just in here. So it must have been like this, the front deck. The kitchen was here and then we had a back room. Okay, I can already see we're running out of room on this lot. I guess it was more of like a long narrow lot. So for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna move this forward just like that. We'll fix this up in a little while. So my, my mom didn't build this house and she always really disliked the kitchen because the kitchen um, was like a black kitchen. It really wasn't our style. I don't think these cabinets have the right top to them. I mean, I guess we could go with this black color, um, but that's probably the closest. We had the same table that I have in my house now, just here. And I think we did have stools at the table. Okay, I got so confused with the floor plan then that I had to go back and check the house. <laughs> on realestate.com. But there's actually a closet here, now I remember. And then this is where the wall kind of dented in, which is where probably most people would put TV, but we had a TV over on this side. Then there was a sliding door that went out to the deck. And I've just used a glass door here because the sliding doors aren't the same height as the windows. This was the pantry. Back here was a smaller lounge area. Oh yeah, this was like a corridor thing. My mum's bedroom was here. Okay, I'm deleting the couch. It must have been like this. And then there was an ensuite. Then there was also a walk-in wardrobe. That was a good walk-in wardrobe. 
Then my room, well actually, my sister and I swapped rooms at some point. I ended up in this room. I think I put my bed like up against the wall like that. And then the other bedroom was back here. She had bathroom in here. And then the laundry had a small bathroom. That was a really handy toilet actually. <laughs> that was like the bad toilet you go to when you have to do poo poo and then no one else uses it. That was that toilet. This might have actually jutted out a bit too because I remember there was definitely a wardrobe in here that must have kind of gone like that. And then I think if we could put in a garage, the garage was just like this, like that. Um, but of course that was a garage door. It didn't have a foundation. So I think the roofing was pretty simple. I think there was a cute little feature of the roof, just like this above the front door maybe. So the outside of the house was cream and the roof was color bond, which is like a corrugated metal that's super common in Australia. Yeah, so the house pretty much looked like this. It's quite difficult to do the fencing in The Sims because it was like a wire fence, um, which are really nice. This is a bit too art deco. We don't really have anything the same. I mean, I guess I could just use this because it wasn't glass. I think glass would be hard in real life because you'd have to clean it all the time. Oh, uh, this is, no. <laughs> this is, no. My gosh, I really botched the lot selection up, didn't I? So yeah, this would have been the driveway. There would have been a big garage door here. And yeah, that's kind of what it looked like with some trees around. There was also like a trampoline and there was a gorgeous big gum tree over here. Whoa, look at that sunset. That's awesome. <gasps> By the way, have you guys watched the Lindsay Lohan Christmas movie on Netflix? I am so excited to watch it. And I know it's gonna be bad. It's gonna be an iconic bad Christmas film, but honestly, that's that's what I want. Something super easy to watch. That's a good old laugh, a bit of a laugh. The low essence, isn't it called? Actually, I read an interview today with Lindsay Lohan and she said it's her dream to be in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. They have to put her in now. I mean, say what you will about Lindsay Lohan. She is a great actress in my opinion. Now we did have a classic outdoor table. I feel like everyone has the same outdoor table from Bunnings Warehouse, which is like our outdoor hardware store. I'll just put this one out here. It was actually a rectangular table, but we'll let it slide. And we would sit out here in summer. We would have barbecues. We always had Easter here as well. And we did an Easter egg hunt and we would start at this door and line up to go do the Easter egg hunt. And there would be eggs like all around the outside of the house. And I had a trick where everyone would run down here, down past the front door and of course down the stairs. But what I would do is while everyone was running around the staircase, I would do like a sick parkour move where I'd jump over this fence, shortcut everyone else and get all the eggs behind here. And I think I won two years in a row. I don't know, I felt, I felt pretty, pretty skilled. Since we moved house, I haven't won the egg hunt. And I feel like it's because I don't have that advantage anymore. So we did have some herb pots in this corner. They were white herb pots. And I think my mom's friends gifted them to her uh, for a birthday one year. It was a really nice gift. And that was kind of the only garden we grew up with for the most part, other than the first house we lived in. Cause mom bringing us both up, working full time. There was not time for her to have hobbies of gardening. So I just put those pots there. I think there was like a beautiful pot at the front door too, or plant because you guys don't really call them pots, do you? You guys always laugh when I say pot plant. <laughs> okay, so inside it was really cream. Like there was so much cream in this house. I think that's maybe why I don't really like cream. And there was pretty vibrant red shiny flooring. It was kind of this vibe. Oh, actually this back room, this wall was open. And I remember mom always saying she wished why can't I? What do you mean this requires a room? It is a room. This foundation type requires a room, what do you? Is it because of the foundation? What a weird glitch. Okay, I guess this part of the house is gonna have this foundation. Make it all the same foundation. There was like a creamy carpet as well in all the rooms. It was just, it was just a lot of cream. 
Come to think of it though, I'm pretty sure the bathrooms were white with sandy cream tiles. And this main bathroom over here, oh, we had a bathtub and that was awesome. Having a bathtub is a really, like even if it's not a fancy bathtub, just having a bathtub is such a luxury and I really didn't appreciate it until I lived without a bathtub. So if you have a bathtub, never take it for granted, okay? I had like a shower, kind of this. And then a gray and white basin like this. I'm not actually sure how well the Sims will use this bathtub here, but that's kind of how it was, I think. And then mum's en suite. Oh, well, the shower door came out this way. I guess I can just swap these around, but technically it was the other way around. And we had just basic wardrobes in each room. Mum's wardrobe was a walk-in. I can't remember if there was a door in it or just an archway. I feel like it was an arch. Oh no, there was a sliding door. I remember now. You know, maybe I'll just put like this wardrobe in because it was kind of like that. Oh, but then it looks weird. Oh my God, my eyes feel so weird from being congested from allergies. Like they feel they feel like they're gonna pop out of their sockets. <laughs> okay, I, I am being dramatic. It's really not that bad. Oh God, this sliding door is not working for us. Let's just put a normal door there. Which reminds me, we have zero doors in this house. We'll put door there. We'll put door here, door here. It's had a linen cupboard in the laundry, so I'm just gonna put this here. And I have so many memories of just rummaging through my mom's wardrobe and jewelry boxes. And like sometimes wearing her different clothes when I was trying to figure out what my style was. Also just side note, it's really funny that they don't have the shelves for these items from Dream Home Decorator in here. Like you have to go, I don't even know where you go to get them. Well, I get, should we just put like bookshelves in the pantry? No, uh, that's kind of weird. We could use these in the pantry. Ah, here we go. So I was watching The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. I know I've been bringing up The Real Housewives in a few videos lately because I started watching Salt Lake City. I didn't think I'd like it, but it's so good. Oh my gosh. If you guys are thinking you want to dabble in The Housewives, Salt Lake City is really good and it's only up to its third season. So you don't have to catch up on that much. So it's kind of perfect to get started on. But you guys, it is intense. I won't spoil anything, but the arrest they got on camera is, I, I can't believe they, they filmed it. It's just wild. The whole house also had Venetian blinds. If you guys don't know what Venetian blinds are, they're like this, um, but I think wooden, or maybe they're all called Venetian blinds, I don't know. So we had those, oh, here we go. Pretty much exactly these. Now these are quite nice, oh no, they're, they're not Venetian, they're bamboo blinds. Are these Venetian blinds? Well, these are. Anyway, so I'm just gonna put some bamboo ones in just cause that's probably the closest. Anyway, they look cool, but I'm just gonna warn you if you think you're getting them. They are so annoying to dust. Like they get so dusty. And then the other thing that's not ideal, actually I think we might've had fabric ones in this room. And the other thing is the, um. I guess this is with all curtains, but the strings can get quite tangled. We had to get a professional to come in and like untangle them, which sounds ridiculous, but they were just so far gone. Gone. Sounds so Aussie gone. But yeah, they were so far gone. Uh, I need to fix up my pronunciation. Nah, who cares? I'm an Aussie, I'll just own it. Anyway, it was quite funny because I remember like our neighbor was like literally right there. And sometimes I'd forget to close that a uh, Venetian when I was on the toilet. I don't know why, but I really liked pooping in mom's ensuite toilet. Oh, it was just comforting for some reason. I liked that one. Oh, that's right. This room had Venetian blinds for some reason and that was super annoying. Actually, speaking of poopy stories, um, this is really random, but I had to poop like underneath this house. I know that is like TMI, next degree TMI, um, but the house was like on stilts so you could walk underneath it. And there was one day I had to go and I had no other choice. I was basically locked out of the house and I'd been holding on all day and I didn't know I was lactose intolerant at the time. So it was really sad. And I had these like 40 minute bus rides home. So I was holding on for like 40 minutes. I had diarrhea cause I didn't know I was lactose intolerant. And then I got home, no one was home cause they were doing whatever they needed to do. And it was so sad because I had forgotten my key. 
couldn't get in, couldn't find the spare key. And I was like, I have to go, like this is an emergency. So I had to dig a hole under the house with a stick and go there. And I didn't tell anyone for years. It was horrible. But I mean, at least I dug a hole, you know? And it happened one time. Actually, I think it happened twice. Um, so yeah, I don't know if that's gonna help anyone who's been in a similar situation. They, these things happen, okay? Did I want to do that? No, of course not. But when nature calls, sometimes you have no choice. I don't know why I'm okay with telling these stories on the internet. Like I really shouldn't. I should be embarrassed and keep this to myself, but I just don't care. <laughs> I don't know, something about sharing these things is very therapeutic for me, I think. My sister's probably gonna watch this and be like, great, now everyone knows you pooped under our house. <laughs> I'm sure that one of you guys have had the same situation. If you have, comment down below. I'm like, please, I, I beg of you to please comment. We actually had a light that looked exactly like this, pretty much. One of the Ikea ones. And then I think we had another light over here. I think we had two. I had some kind of rug here. My boyfriend at the time ended up becoming a really great woodworker, actually. So I think we had a few side tables made by him. I think my mom would have liked to do a lot more with the decor of the house. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, it was always a really lovely home. It was actually a very nice space to grow up in, always very warm, welcoming, clean. Not like crazy clean, like uncomfortably clean, just like nice clean. Except when I messed it fully up, which I did as a teenager, because I had art projects everywhere. Um, but I think if we had a lot more money, my mom would have decorated it very differently um, and had a lot of fun with that. Okay, we had a couple of feature walls and they were in like an aubergine color, a dark aubergine, kind of like this actually. That's probably the color, which was quite nice. It was a little bit more modern at the time probably than it is maybe right now. Like I don't think it's dated right now. It's probably not as trendy. And I guess it really depends on where you are in the world and what your taste is. But yeah, they were nice feature walls. And then we had this big painting that went across here. I feel like this is way too wide. What did we even put here? I think we had a basket of sticks. As weird as it sounds, it was a decorative basket and stick. Let's get a, I'm gonna put a big plant here. We didn't actually have many plants in the house. And I think, where do we put the Christmas tree? Oh, I think the Christmas tree went here as well. I'm just gonna put a Christmas tree here so you guys can get the vibe of how we did Christmas. <laughs> the Christmas tree would go there. This was the lounge room. This was just like a massive dead space, I feel. And my mom would run Pilates classes. That's right, because my mom was a Pilates instructor for a, like for a long time. Oh my God, it's all coming together now. So she'd have all of these women come over and a lot of them were teachers and they would all bring their Pilates mats once a week and mom would take a Pilates class and they would, this was actually such a great space for it. These are the things I didn't really think about as a teenager, but what a good setup. So they would do Pilates here. Sometimes I would join in. The mats weren't always there, but maybe we, I think we had weights in this corner. And my mom and my sister, as my sister got older, she had more interest in it. But my mom was always quite into health and well-being. Um, and she had quite a bad back. So she ended up getting a big back operation. She had slipped a disc and that's how she got into Pilates because part of, part of her way of repairing her back was doing Pilates before the surgery and recovery afterwards. There are also two big square paintings here that one of mom's friends did. Um, we didn't have money for paintings, but my mom's friend was an artist and I think she visited from du Dubai and then she painted these paintings. So I'm just gonna put those there. They weren't of like bacon and eggs, but they were a square. That's right. Then we had the classic Ikea bookshelves right here. Was it the Billy bookcases were just here? I don't know what went here though. Maybe nothing. Oh, and I remember one of the ladies who had come to the Pilates classes, she would always fart. She would fart constantly and just laugh and laugh and laugh. And it was so funny. Like, I think at the time I was an insecure teenager. So I was like, oh my God. But like looking back on it, it was so great. And my mom would be like, okay, ladies, let's um, let's move on. <laughs> 
that's enough laugh. Uh, well, not enough laughter, but she'd be like, that's enough farting. <laughs> What a hilarious lady. What a legend. In this back room, we had a green couch that was a fold up out couch. So if it, anyone ever stayed here, they would stay in the back room. It's like a forest green couch. And my mom would get up early in the mornings and she would put on the news. I think there was like a something in the corner here. And we would have this little TV that she would watch the news on every morning. And I always was confused why she didn't use the nicer TV in here. Um, but I think she just liked the sunlight in this room. Uh, so we had a desk here. This was like mom's desk. Then we had, I think we actually had two desks in here. Oh, actually, I used to play the drums growing up and my drum kit was in this corner. But then eventually I stopped doing drum kit lessons and we put a second desk there. Yeah, looking back on this, like we really utilized the space very well. Like every nook and cranny had a purpose. Every nook and cranny was used. There's definitely no dead space, that's for sure. Ooh, where was the heating and cooling? I think there was something here. So at this feature wall, we had this drum. It was kind of like this, but bigger, and it was an Indian drum, or maybe it, actually, it could have been like a Chinese thing. And then it had little drums inside the big drum. So I'll just put this here for now. And it wasn't a drum that you played. It was just like a table. And then this would often have a big bunch of flowers on it. Uh, the women in my family love flowers. In fact, the men do as well. Everyone in my family loves flowers, so that was nice. There was also a picture here that kind of had red wine colors in it, so it went well with the wall behind it. And I think the reason why I think the drum was Indian was because the painting was Indian. Uh, Cause my mom did Indian dance when I was younger. I think I was in her belly when she did Indian dance. So that she really loves Indian things from Indian culture. There were more windows here. This house had so much natural light and no air con. And let me tell you, in the peak of Australian summer, it got so hot with all these windows. We would close all the blinds and just have blinds closed for like weeks. And there was a circle window here. It was a modern circle window, so it didn't have any extra detail on it, but we'll just do a Hampton style. And then we had the black kitchen that we all personally disliked. Not that if you like black kitchens, there's anything wrong with you because loads of people love black kitchens and that's absolutely fine. It just wasn't our jam. I think it was like this. Oh, come to think of it. I I think the fridge sat in here like this. Is that how it worked? Yeah, something like this maybe? I think there's a hidey hole here. We had a little fridge and there'd always be lots of stuff stuffed into it because we couldn't afford a new fridge. I think eventually my sister and I put in together to get us a new fridge because we we're like, we, we, we need to change this. The bin was built into the counter. It had one of those like circle bins in it with a lid and the lid used to get so stinky. So we would open the cupboard door anyway to put stuff in the bin, otherwise it was nasty. There's a stove back here. Then we had a sink, there's silver on this side. So there was lots of like chatting from the kitchen whilst in the dining room. The whole house was actually a really practical design, I think. I don't know if my mom would agree with that, but I feel like looking back on it, it was pretty good. Like it would flow well. Oh, and we had a dishwasher dishwasher was good. I'm actually gonna just put it over here. The microwave was in here. It was like a roll up cupboard, which was kind of cool. We didn't actually have that many plants in the house, but I keep putting plants everywhere because I like plants. The plant obsession wasn't a thing yet. Eventually we got a split system put in here uh, for heating and cooling. I think we also had a painting here. And you know what? This might have gone across a bit. It's difficult for me to remember. Maybe it was more like that. This room got so hot in summer. The laundry was back here. There actually technically was a back door that went out here and like a little risen area. I don't think the game's gonna let me fit it in, but there was a back door here in a very like small narrow walkway. Oh, and over here, there was a massive aloe vera bush and aloe vera is really great for sunburns. You might see it in like sunburn oils. It's kind of like a big spiky plant. And this one was like so big, it was like this big. And whenever I got sunburn, I would go out here and just grab aloe vera leaves, pull them apart 
and lay them on my sunburn at night. And there were a couple of summers where it didn't happen too often, thank goodness, but there were a couple of summers where I got really badly burnt, um, which ugh, I'm angry at my old self for that. But you know, we all make mistakes. Um, and it was just so painful. And I remember just getting naked, lying in bed, putting all of this aloe vera leaves all over my burn. And cause we didn't have air con, I would just lie in bed with a little desk fan on and I'd have face washes in a bowl of cold water. And I would just like go like this and then lie there and sleep for a bit. Then I'd overheat again. And then I'd do it again with all the leaves like falling off me and aloe vera gel going everywhere. Good times in Australian summer. So this was the laundry. Then we had some kind of storage here. I actually think there was a linen cupboard on this side right here, come to think of it. Um, and then this was an extra toilet. So there was like a third toilet and you would use the laundry sink to wash your hands afterwards. And the thing about this toilet, not only was it like the nasty poo poo toilet, cause like you couldn't hear it as easily. <laughs> um, but this might be interesting to some of you guys was where we put all of our fire safety stuff. So in Australia, we have a lot of really vicious bushfires. I'm sure a lot of you guys have at some point seen them on the news in recent years, probably. Um, they wiped out, like the bushfires a couple of years ago wiped out uh, so much of our wildlife. It was absolutely devastating. And in this area, we would have a box of like woolen blankets, like heavy cotton jumpsuits, I think. Um, mostly just woolen stuff because you can put woolen blankets over yourself that are damp with water and it can help you escape a fire apparently. So we had those there just in case of like an evacuation as well. I think we put other evacuation items like water and, and I don't know, I don't even know what my mom put there, but she had stuff ready. And maybe as a teenager, I wasn't really listening to what she was saying when she probably explained it to me many times what the plan was. This was my sister's room. My sister's room was really pretty. It was just very like simple, clean, neat compared to mine, which was kind of crazy. <laughs> and yeah, it was just always very, very nice and clean and gorgeous in here. I actually can't remember what else was in her room. I just remember it being really clean. And she originally was in this room, but we swapped at some stage. I think this was actually the nicer room. So I think she got a better deal when we swapped. So this room, for some reason, I don't think this is the right shape. I think this was square, but anyway, I pushed my bed to the side and I had the Ikea wooden, like little two-step footstool foot ladder here. Got a silver Ikea lamp and so much stuff. In my first videos on my channel, when I did a face reveal, I was actually sitting on this bed and I think I had like lots of little, it was like heaps of magazine cutouts or something on my back wall. I'd put up all of these images everywhere that I really liked. Maybe for that video, I neatened it up a bit, but sometimes my walls were absolute chaos. There was some kind of bookshelf. Oh yeah, there was a bookshelf here. I had this bookshelf, but the six square version of it from Ikea. Is it the cal calic? Anyway, I had that here with all of my art stuff in it. And I think I used it also as a bit of a vanity because it was shorter. So I had a mirror on it. it was all of that. And then over here, this is where I had my desk um, that I think an ex-boyfriend made a different one who also could do woodwork. I know, I had a type for a while. And then this is where I started doing YouTube. So big memories here. Uh, I actually started on an iMac because I'd saved up, I think, for an iMac because I was studying graphic design at uni and that was the easiest way for me to work. Then I had an older laptop I'd take to uni. Um, so yeah, I'd play Sims 3 on Mac, film it all here. I didn't have a very good setup at that time. I don't think I, I didn't have face cam, so I didn't have a camera or anything or lighting, I don't think. So yeah, that's where it started. Mum also had one of these bookshelves in a dark brown. And then like my sisters, my mum's room was really clean too. And I was just like the crazy messy one. 
And I think I ruined a lot of stuff because I would do so many art projects. Like I'd be melting wax in mum's nice crockery pots and then it would harden and I didn't know how to clean it and it would just be left for ages. Oh my God, it was a nightmare. I'd get paint everywhere. And my mom and sister were so nice. They would always encourage me to keep doing creative things and be really supportive of any of the artwork I did. I feel like other families would just be like, stop messing up the house, you're ruining everything. But they were always so supportive. And so was my dad, he was really supportive, even though he didn't live here. Um, such a such an awesome family, just support wise. So I've, I've been very lucky. So there's this, I don't know what was in the corner, maybe there was some other vanity there. I really don't recall if anything was here. I feel like something needs to go there. But yeah, that was basically the house and there was a cruise line over here. Um, and then of course this is the garage area and there was some storage in here and it obviously didn't have a thing underneath it. So let's have a look. This is the house. Yay. Um, Honestly, there wasn't really much garden to take care of. I'm sure my mom would have been a great gardener if she had the time. So it's actually nighttime, but that's okay. Cause you know, it was nighttime sometimes here. Yeah. So you could go around the side or you could go through the front door. I would sunbake out here some days. I don't sunbake anymore cause the sun's like, well, skin cancer is a big issue for Australians cause the sun's so strong now, but I used to sunbake and get like a really nice tan. Anyway, so here's the lounge room. Oh my gosh, it looks so familiar. There would always be like Pilates fit balls rolling around the room as well. We have the Christmas tree here. Then this was the Pilates area. Oh my gosh, this is such a throwback. It really does look so much like it did back in the day. <gasps> this is crazy. Have you ever built your own house and just been like, oh my gosh, when you go through it afterwards? Then we have the dining table, the kitchen. I have to take screenshots of this to just send the fam because they're gonna be like, oh my God, it really does look like it. I think because the feature wall color is spot on. That's what's crazy. Um, kitchen, the round window, very nice. The fridge, the Billy bookcase. Let's go to mom's room. So there were some times I'd come in here crying because you know, teenage dramas and I'd come cry in her bed and she would look after me. I vaguely remember having a butt rash and being given pawpaw to put on my butt. And, you know, just little memories like that, walk in wardrobe, rummaging through all of that. Shower, I'd always get sand everywhere from the beach. Um, around here, the desk, sometimes my mom would work here and my sister would work over here. This room with the little TV from like the 90s. I think we upgraded it in the end, but mom, mom, I feel like mom liked that TV. The laundry. <gasps> the poo toilet, fire safety stuff. And then over here, sister's room. That was originally my room. Very clean, very nice. The shared bathroom. Oh, I forgot to put a sink and a mirror here. Totally forgot about this bathroom. We had one sink in here and for two girls to share one sink, my sister was really clean. I was really messy, like, this was always chaos in here. And we would sometimes kind of fight over the bathroom as well. I would light candles when I had a bath. It was really nice. And then we have, there is a shower in there. It's just not showing up. There you go. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. And then we had guinea pigs out here at one stage. And then a veggie patch, I think out the back here, but it didn't do well. I'm much better with my veggie patch these days. <laughs> anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know what your family memories are of your first home or your first home memories, what kind of place you grew up in. Um, I felt like this was such a beautiful home. I was very lucky, even though it wasn't like magazine perfect. It was spacious and light and bright and uh, it was good. It was good. So I'll forever be grateful. Hope you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I look forward to speaking to you all soon. Bye guys.